cowardice is the problem. The world is, is full of cowards. We suffer from a pandemic of cowardice. We've never suffered from any other pandemic the last three years. People are absolutely not really cowards and they do to me what they did to me to scare people. If you tell the average person you're going to lose contact with basically everyone you can speak to, you're not going to have a voice anymore, you're not going to have a bank account, you're not going to be able to make money online, you're not going to be able to move anywhere, you're not going to be able to transact, we're going to wreck you head to toe. The average person can't deal with that, right? On top of the, fa that, the fact that the average person is employed and they're scared of losing their job, scared of their employer. I'm in a unique situation because I'm extremely difficult to hurt, but the average person, as soon as you hurt their money, their life is over, right? And and that's what we've got. We've got to a, a level of cowardice amongst the population where people are just gonna sit there and ignore objective reality because they're scared of having this cancellation weapon used against them. So yeah, it's it, you're right. It's not that people don't agree with us. It's not that we're not saying the things that everyone knows are intrinsically true. It's that everybody's afraid to say it. And that can only end when everybody stands up and stops agreeing and playing this game and stops being cowards. We need mass numbers of people to say, no, I'm allowed an opinion. You know what, Nigel Farage, and I don't, I'm not, since you have ended, I don't even know about his politics nowadays. I don't even know what he's doing. But he says something that was really interesting. He was asked about who runs the world. And I guess the person was trying to set him up for a question about the elites. And he said, truthfully, I'll tell you who runs the world. We do, because we decide how much of this crap we're gonna put up with. The problem is we're putting up with too much of it. Problem is everyone's a coward and and you're right. I get the same thing. Wow, thanks for saying it. Why don't you say it? And the, and everyone is just terrified. And uh, it's it really is truly crazy because fear has always been the control mechanism of man. The worst things that have ever happened in any society or any civilization since the dawn of fucking records has been done under the name of fear. Get the population afraid. What did Goebbels say? The propaganda minister of the Third Reich. Once people are afraid, give them a common enemy. They'll do anything you want. That's the, the, the Nazis knew this. Everyone knows this, right? So it's a basic playbook, but I think it's also a larger issue. I think that things like keeping sure, making sure people are semi-depressed, making sure people are divided, making sure people are selfish, making sure people are self-obsessed. They're trying to destroy people's will to stand up and, and care about anyone other than themselves. And once you do that, coupling with the fact that if you start to care about others and genuinely care about the world, you'll ruin your own life. It just makes people shut up. These people can't think. <laughs> These people cannot think. It's it's almost a sad realization when you wake up and understand that there's a large contingent of the world who cannot think. And when I say that, I don't mean that in some kind of, you know, semi-sarcastic -sarc or, I mean that literally. There are people who have a strong emotional re reaction to subjects they completely don't understand. There are people out there who will stand up and say, I hate Andrew Tate. Why? I hate him. He needs to go to jail. Yeah. Like, okay, why? I hate him. Why? They don't know why. They once you once the matrix can program an emotional response into you and you can't even logically with your own words explain why you have that emotional emotional response, you're completely a slave mind. These people don't think about anything. They believe what they're told to believe. They're emotional about what they're told to be emotional about in the exact direction they're told to be. And that's what the matrix wants. It wants to be able to say a name and tell the world to hate them without even giving a reason and just get what they want. These people are so far gone. These individuals who do not be, they cannot logically explain their own emotions are so far gone, it's ridiculous. As, as an adult, what you need to do is, is seriously analyze every strongly held belief you currently have and work out where it came from. Is it personal experience? Is it from somebody who I care about and who I trust? Is it from what the news has said? Why do I believe this so much? Why do I have an emotional response to this? Where did it come from? People don't do that. They just sit there, watch the news, watch social media. I'm supposed to hate this guy, so I now hate this guy. So I know exactly what you're talking about, Zuby, because you're right. These people cannot think. They cannot even give a reason. There's a guy on TikTok who walks around and says, have you heard of Andrew Tate around college campuses? And people go, yeah. And he goes, do you like him? And they go, no, why? He's a misogynist. What's misogynist mean? And then they can't answer. They don't know what it, they don't even know what it means. Like it's 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 almost sad. But then you live through the last three years and you realize that yeah, people can't think. There's a large contingent of the world that truly cannot think. It's scary. Yeah, it is kind of scary. I mean, it's it's so interesting because as someone as someone who knows you, and <laughs> privately and publicly, I've I've defended you a lot a lot this year because people have been saying super wild stuff and you know people don't. I posted actually when. When were, when were we in Romania? 2020. Yeah. I posted, um, I was, it was while they were in the process of taking away your accounts, I posted a photo. That's what's crazy, but the reason they'll gloss over all of that is because, like, well, like I said, you have to ignore your own eyes. That's what they want. When you're fully slave-minded, 
What I can, I will genuinely state this as a fact. I will state this as a fact, even though I don't know it's a fact, but I would love for someone to do the study. Go out there in the world and ask a hundred people if you like Andrew Tate or not. And the ones who say yes and the ones who say no, do an IQ test. And I, I guarantee you the biggest idiots out there. When I see people who dislike me and I see them trying to explain why, it doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. It's like, it's English, but it doesn't make logical sense. And yeah, they'll come at me with the with the, the garbage about being a misogynist, etc. Very, not very often do people argue my points because arguing my points is absolute destruction because they know they're wrong. So what they try and do is discredit my character. They say, he's a bad person. He's a misogynist. He's done this, he's done that, he's evil. But what does he say that you disagree? What does he say that's wrong? Oh, but he's a bad person. They can't argue against my points. And the only reason they try and say I'm a bad person is because they're weaponizing virtue to try and find a way to attack me. They can't attack me logically because they know I'm right. They can't attack my successes as a man or as a person. They can't say I'm not successful. They can't find anything bad to say about me besides bald, which they probably come at you with. <laughs> but uh, they say, where's your hair? It's like, okay, cool. I shaved it off. Um, but, which is ridiculous in and of itself. But uh, then they say, okay, well then he's a bad person. And, and the thing about it is, once they understand that the only way they can attack you is by saying you're a bad person, it doesn't matter once you that you prove them wrong. They're not interested in the truth. They're not interested in truth. You can sit and say, here's proof he's not a misogynist. Here's proof he's no criminal record, never done anything wrong. Here's proof he's a nice person. Here's proof he gives to charity. Here's the orphanage he built. Here's the dogs he rescued. Here's the millions he's given away. Here. They don't want to see it. They're just blind to it. They're like, no, I ignore my own eyes. That can't possibly be true because the media told me this guy must be bad. And they're slave-minded. And what's actually scary is that these people genuinely believe that they're the good people of Earth. And it's always completely the opposite. Those who can be programmed by the, me by the media machine and the matrix to just be slave-minded and not think for themselves are the exact ones who always commit the most atrocities. These are the, always the people who end up doing the most heinous shit. And when you ask them why, they're like, oh, well, you know, at the time, I just, you know, just put on the gas chamber, newspaper told me to, oops. That's who these people are. So whenever I see a slave-minded person, it's not just a matter of going, oh, well, you're a dummy. I look at them with genuine disdain. I look at you and think you're actually a bad person. You're genuinely evil. You cannot think for yourself. I don't even see you as a person I ever want to get to know. Or de I'd love to deprogram you, but it's impossible. These people are genuinely the worst people on the planet. And it's kind of convenient that all the people who dislike me are the worst people on the planet. So it's fine. I don't have to talk to them anyway. But if you look, read any history book, read any of it, all the most heinous shit committed by humanity were people who just couldn't think for them fucking selves.